welcome back to the Dias Cast. This week we're gonna have uh, two kind of veterans here. It's Justin, your usual host, and Brendan Melnick, the yeah. Lord of Death. So oh boy. playing again another not Death Army. So no, we, we're really just keeping that as like an old go-to, but it it's lost all meaning at this point almost. <laughs> no, but this week uh, we wanted to bring something hard hitting and fast. fast. Yes, two key things that I enjoy about the game. Yeah, the always be charging metric of Warhammer. Yeah. So I thought, I'm going to bring my neat uh, fist list again, and we do blind list reveals. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, Brendan's not going to play S2D. Like last time when I played against Nick, and then I gave my list to Nick, and Brendan gave his list to Nick, and it's, it looks like a rematch pretty much. So it's... It I'll own this. It's not even my list. I was pulling a group of friends of, hey, I'm going to play on the Dias cast. What, what do you guys want to see me play? And this got sent to me, and I said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll throw that down. They chose yeah. violence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fast. It's going to be uh, action-packed. So uh, why don't you tell me about your list? So uh, tonight what I've got is a Slaves of Darkness, Knights of the Empty Throne list. It's a one-drop. This is an archetype against a very competitive uh, build right now where you are taking a Chaos Sorcerer Lord with the Master of Magic and Arcane Tome, um, right, the, and Tunnel Master. The goal of that character is to get your combination of Varen Guard and Knights loaded up, send them in. You've got your other uh, Sorcerer with the 3d6 charging. That will help increase your ability to toss things in. You've got a Brick of Ten Knights with Nurgle and the Minus One Rend banner. Uh, so, obviously you're going to use that to try and pin and win. Two units of Varengard with uh, Mark of Corn, and then a unit of Corvus Cabal. Uh, 1940, the Triumph is uh, plus one to wound. It's real straightforward. You're going to try and hit him in waves once you've got him locked in. Uh, we're going to have kind of a, a standoff of sorts on the table um, with Kragnos' 3d6 charging against that Meat Fist. It'll be, see, it'll be interesting to see that, number one, the roll-off, but two, you know, who's able to hit first and hit hardest. That's probably going to be one of the bigger deciding factors here. As Brendan alluded to and I alluded to in the introduction, I am bringing uh, Meat Fist uh, Maw Tribes, and I've been always curious about running a couple of tyrants so my list is also one drop uh, I have Kragnos and then I have two tyrants one is my general he is gonna have the big name so he's gonna be a death cheater and a brawler guts the brawler guts plus the meat fist means that he will be charging hopefully 3d6 and then doing mortal wounds on three ups and then I have another um, brawler guts tyrant but he's gonna have the flask of the dragon, let's call it. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but it's gonna give him a once per game uh, three up mortal wound save. So then I'm just padding it out with a unit of 20 Nadlars, two units of six um, gluttons, and two units of four blasters. Um, it's kind of a perfect 2000 point list. Gives me hopefully some waves, some screens, a little bit of a hope to maybe get a screen off that might be sitting in front of me so it's going to be a meeting eventually in the middle of the board and uh i hope craig knows and the boys come out on top ready to do this brendan absolutely all right let's have some fun We are rolling off for the very important priority roll. Two one drops. We gotta see uh, who's gonna come out on top here. Sixes win games. Right. All right. Brendan is gonna take priority. That means I'm sure he's gonna decide to drop second. Yeah, so. that's certainly what I'll do. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna deploy first. All right, sounds good. So today we're playing Jaws of Galais. It is five objectives on the board, an L-shaped deployment for both of us with uh, shared objectives in the corners, um, nine inch away from those corners. The unique aspect of this battle plan is that 
Um, after the first battle round, the person that has the second turn gets to choose an objective to remove from the table. So, get a little bit of a second edition, was it? Or was it a three no, point? That was that was first edition. Or sorry, is the first version of three point? Yeah, first version of three point all is coming back and forth here. So, um, that's the plan. Brendan won the uh, roll off, and uh, he's going to talk about his deployment. Uh, so I finished deploying first, so the being both battle regiments is going to be pretty, pretty big. Um, in my deployment, I wanted to force only bad decisions to Justin. Um, you know, the getting the three, six charges off on his side is, is pretty important. Um, being meat fist means you're getting the bonus to... Uh, to impact hits, which means that the units of six are effectively hitting like monsters, and then the uh, the tyrants are basically doing better than that. Um, tough call, right, in terms of um, you know what I want to do, but I want to be able to put him on on the back foot early or keep him from scoring points. Uh, he deployed with a castle, so I'm going to have to think about how how I break that or get far enough ahead on points where it doesn't matter. And I deployed in a castle because I think the biggest mistake I could make, and I could be proven wrong, is that I would overextend and open myself up, uh, my juicier bits up to Brendan's counter charge and potentially a double. So it's a bit tighter than I'd like it to be because of deployment and where Brendan put his Baron Guard, I, uh, I have to kind of respect that threat over there. Prepare for a couple of opportunities. Yeah, so, hmm. um, so yeah, this is what we have. Brendan, what are you thinking for a uh, party here? Oh, man. You're, you're totally right. That unit there was 100% was bait. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go for it. I gotta, I gotta try and win it at the top here. I like it. All right. Good luck. Good luck. We will uh, start with picking our battle tactic. I'm going to go gaining momentum. I'm going to pick the unit of the Noblars. Then for uh, what we're going to do in terms of heroic action, we're going to do the Slaves to Darkness one where I get 3d6 casting, but if I miscast, um, we're going to give that on the non-general, the one with the demonic speed. And I believe I'm out of range and unlikely to unbind. So I will not be turning into a uh, wizard, but I will be rolling for a command point from Pregnos, and I will not get it. Cool. Well, who, who doesn't love a, a good crack at the top? So we'll move into the hero phase proper. Um, we will assign our oracular visions, um, the first of which is going to go to the unit of Chaos Knights, the second of which to the unit of Baron Guard. That's Plus just one is it? Uh, no, these are just straight six up wards. Oh, okay. Um, the, they have a five up ward against mortals, and my Baron Guard have four up wards against uh, oh, mortals as well. Yep. So now these two units have six up six casters. Yep. Um, so you don't have the ability to unbind, so we'll just go right off the top. The Chaos Sorcerer Lord uh, with Demonic Speed is going to make that casting attempt with three dice. Sure. Um, so that is going to be on a 13. Here you go, all good. We're going to give that to the unit of knights. Um, so they're going to be 3d6 charging. Um, the Chaos Sorcerer Lord, that is my general, um, has Master of Magic and Arcane Tome, so I wonder, I wonder what I'm going to do with that. Uh, we'll start with uh, Demonic Power. This has a casting value of a 6. I'll take the 7 because you can't do anything with it. Uh, I'll assign that to the knights. That gives them plus one to hit and plus one to wound. Sounds good. And for my last casting attempt with Arcane Tome, um, we'll go Mystic Shield. Uh, on a seven, so that's also good. That is also going to go on the knights. The knights are plus one to hit, plus one to wound, plus one save, six up ward, 3d6 charging. Sounds good. Um, it's time to move.
All right, after you finish moving, I am going to redeploy my Navars with a two. I thought I saw five or something. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, on a four up, Renan is going to take D3 mortal wounds to his knights. Oh yeah, D3 for three. Five ups. Take two. Four up on the Varengard. Uh, the goal here is to pin Justin in. Uh, Going to be heavily dependent on my charge rolls here, but this unit here is rolling 3d6, and then I've got my Varengard three inches away. Uh, I've got gaining momentum to kill the Noblars, um, so I feel pretty good about that opportunity. Um, there's there's a way to do this where I can make his life pretty miserable, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and take that. So over to shooting. Uh, the Corpus Cabal are out of range, uh, so over to charges. Um, we'll start with the uh, Varengard. Sure. We'll run and charge because of Kotet. Uh, I'll take the seven. Uh, so Noblars are going to roll their four up. I am going to choose to bypass uh, Unleash Shelter. And yep. I'll take three. Fours. Take one. All right, uh, knights are going to give it a go here. Um, I'm rolling 3d6, and the lowest dice gets flipped to a four if I, if I want. Maybe I just roll like a bunch of sixes. And, yeah. Uh, nope, so that's an eight, which will turn into boop, 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 an 11. then. Um, I'm going to start with my Varen Guard, who are going to uh, spend my last point here to all out attack, because I need to very much get rid of that screen of Noblars to try and push the Chaos Knights into uh, the bulk of what Justin has. I am out of range of his ability to pile in at me, so I have two cracks at this effectively. Alright, so Varen Guard. Uh, this is my unit with the demon weapons. I probably should have put the ensorcelled weapons on the end, but I've got a full game of hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, yes, so Varengard can have different weapons each, which I learned two days ago. Uh, so the front three have um, the uh, demon weapons, where sixes to hit our mortals in addition, and then I've got spears in the back, who have the two-inch reach. Um, because that's exactly what they needed. So. The Navars do work, so on a four up. Nope. Of course. Not three. Alright, uh, so we will start with the ensorcelled weapons. Or sorry, the, uh, we will start with the demon forged blades. All attacks are going into. At the Navars. Okay. Um, so, they're normally three attacks a piece, but I am corn. Um, so, these are going to be four attacks a piece because I charged. Uh, these are twos and threes because of all out attack. Uh, so, that's two mortal wounds to start. And then that is. Just some damage. Uh, so, 6d3 for. Oof, Four, six, nine damage. So 11, including the mortal wounds. 
Then the Fell Spears. Charge four attacks each because I charged. Look at that. Uh, these, because you charge, their to wound roll increases by one, and their rend increases by one. So this puts them at twos and twos. Sorry, camera. Uh, so that is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 damage. Uh, there's one now, by the way. Mm. I'm gonna activate. Oh. Uh, well, for for you go. I gotta decide if I'm gonna do a fight again. Oh yeah. Uh, with with that unit later. Um. So I'm I'm gonna pass on fight again. I've got the uh I've got the lead belchers tagged. Um. But bringing them within three inches of Kragnos for free doesn't feel like a super fun time. Uh, I'm gonna pile. I only have one eligible unit to pile right here. It's gonna be the lead belchers. I'm gonna try to make as much space as I can for Mr. Three. I'm only gonna get one gentleman in. He happens to be my leader, so this is gonna be two attacks, but he gets an extra one. It's gonna be three attacks. Threes and threes. No run. Uh, two hits. Er, two All right, ones. threes. Uh, one gets through. Two damage. Okay. Um, we're gonna pile in with the knights. The thing that is most important with this is that I am within three inches of these units, so that they cannot charge. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fight in many ranks, so I'm going to be outside of half of an inch with pretty much everybody. Yeah, it looks like everybody. So, unfortunately, there's not a ton of guys that are all the way in range, which is a bit of a bummer, because right, they do most of their damage off the charge. Um, but we're going to have two knights into the lead belchers, no horses, two knights into the, um, the regular gluttons, um, and both of them will have their horses eligible to fight. So that's going to be the gluttons that are all of defense. Okay. Uh, so we will fight the lead belchers first. Um, we have a total of uh, six lance attacks going that direction. These are threes and twos because of all of the wonderful spells I put on them. Woo! Two at Ren 2. Uh, those will go right through. Four damage total. Alright, uh, attacks at the Gluttons. Uh, same thing, six attacks, uh, threes and twos. Ooh, getting lucky here. Alright, two at Ren 2, please. Uh, these will be six ups. Woo! Ooh. Two damage. Uh, and then the Hoof attacks, these are two attacks, threes and threes. So, four total. Threes, threes, two, no rent, please. These are gonna be two, five, four ups. One Maybe. damage each. I one button with three down. I'm gonna first pile with um, my lead belchers in response. Okay. Um, I'm only gonna be able to get one in of these guys. The reason I'm piling like this is I want to make more room for my gluttons to get in because they do a bit more work. Um, so this is not my leader. This will be two attacks, threes and threes. Uh, minus one to wound because I'm nerdable. Three and four. Two. Okay. No run. Three up. Good. Two up. Oh, uh, my unit of gluttons is going. I apologize for not being more careful with what I call my orders. Your round boys. Uh, this will get all six in. I am double weaponed here, so it's going to be a total of 24 attacks, threes and fours, no rend because of Brendan's. Nurgle and the eroding icon. Crap. Uh, threes and fours.
Uh, so it's going to be three, six, eight. Okay. Two ups. Good. Come on. Hit one, one. I'll then pile in with my other unit from Ogres. With this fight, I'll only get four in. So this will be a total of 16 attacks. Same deal. Three and fours. So this will be five. Okay. Twos. Man, we're good. So. All right. So gulping bites. These hour fours uh, into your bearing guard. Okay. Yes, D three for one. Woo. We're up. So there you go. You got your damage through. And then into your knights. No. So over to scoring, hold one, hold two, hold more. You know if you're one, obviously. Um, pretty pleased with that turn. Got my battle tactic, gaining momentum. I killed your unit of Noblars as I desired. Uh, so that puts me at five at the top of one. Um, more importantly in the turn, what that does is the majority of your units that you want to be charging that would have the benefit of being Meat Fist and maximizing Kragnos' 3d6 uh, are effectively out of play. Um, the Kragnos is pretty well blocked off into where he is. It's not impossible for him to get out, but the Lead Belchers really can't get out of the way with their with their movement. Um, you know, they can get out of the way if you want to throw them into the Baron Guard, but I don't know if that's where you want to tie him up for you know some unknown amount of time. Uh, Knights, super super good job getting them what I need them to do, but. Obviously, when it comes back over to my turn, you're gonna you're gonna see their ability really fall off. Um, but Ben Nurgle is such a nice, like a nice uh, passive ability, though, that it it really does aid in mm -hmm. keeping you around. You're stuck. That's the that's yep. the goal. Um, so bottom of one, and I leave you in a very difficult position. So into my turn, I am going to take Stephicio. All right. We're going for the Hail Mary here. Oh boy. We are actually going to do Avalanche of Flesh. Wow. Yeah. I okay. mean, I could play safe. I'm in a predicament. I need to do uh, some wild things to get out of this. So I need to cause 10 or more mortal wounds with the Trampling Charge ability. I have, okay. two, I have two gentlemen that can do it. I need big rolls from them. But it's not impossible. It's not impossible. It's improbable. But I feel like Cunning Maneuver here puts one of my um, my tyrants way out of uh, position, and I really want them to be fighting to try to get me out of the position I'm currently in. Um, and then I am not in a position to get uh, Desecrate. And the only other one I could possibly do is Eye for an Eye. So we're gonna try this. You gotta do what you gotta do. Kragnos is gonna find a sour here. Ooh. We are going to. Uh, that's my hero phase. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, go extra command point with my general. Nope. So I've got the one. All right, we're going into movement. Okay, yep, I'll stop you there. Uh, spend a point to redeploy my bearing guard. Four. Um, my movement, I had to retreat with my lead belchers to open up a path for a Kragnos charge. I then moved my tyrants into position to potentially get my battle tactic off. I had to move Kragnos wholly within 12 of them so they get the big time charges. Um, so we are about to go bombs away, but I have a little shooting to do first. Uh, my first time, it doesn't matter which. Mm -hmm. It's two shots, it's going to be fours and threes. I don't want 
Uh, one at negative one. Uh, so three up. Good. And then my other tyrant. Nope. Uh, Use your did, guns. They did not move, so I am gonna get. Uh, so I get. I get uh, six d three here. All right. That is gonna be uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 shots, fours and threes. Very nice. Uh, it's gonna be six at negative one. Okay, threes. Woo, all right, those get through. I have a six up ward. And I take two. Gotta be a deadline, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start with my tyrant that's closest to the top of the board. He's gonna get 3d3d6 on his charge. Ten. I'm gonna stick with that. It's Good. about average. He'll get to roll ten dice. Threes will do mortal wounds here. Okay. So I'm in meat fist, so that's gonna take my um my gut buster from a five to a four. I am then Brawler Guts, which treats me as a monster, which gives me an additional plus one. Putting so me good. at threes, two do mortals. Uh, ten trips. And this three, seven. Okay. Fives, because of my shields. All right, six get through so far. All right, so we're keeping track because this is important. Six. Have been caused. We need a big roll here for my other tyrant. It's very important. That is not going to do it. I'm going to re-roll that. That is just as bad almost. Eight. Eight will get me in. But will it let me cause enough mortal wounds? People are waiting with bated breath here. Eight three ups. Woo! All right. I gotta have you save less than three. Guys. Oh, you got it. Yeah! Dreams do come true. And then, Craig B. Boy, I have now, I'm now naked on this charge. She doesn't feel great. See how we do. Oh, I'll that's do it. funny. He gets to roll a two up, and if he hits it, it will be D6 mortal wounds. Yep. For five. Okay, four ups from the very guard. All right, let's take two. All right, so I am actually going to attack with Kragnos first. Okay. Because he is... Well, monstrous action. Oh, yeah, thank you. Monstrous action. Sorry. Uh, I am going to stomp the vampire. No, it didn't matter anyway. Okay. Um, all right, into Kra I am going to spend all-out attack here. Trip. I am all-out attack, and I am all-out, uh, or I'm finest tower, so I'm going to plus one hit and plus one to wound here. First profile is going to have six attacks. There's going to be twos and twos. Thing for that all attack. It's going to be five at negative three. Okay, sixes. All right, four get through. It's going to be sixteen damage. Ouch. Uh, on the second profile, it's three attacks. These are going to be twos and twos as well. It's going to be two at negative two. Fives. Nothing. D3 damage each. Corn six. Mm -hmm. six. Gotta do two here to get them. And then Hooves of Rack and Ruin. This is gonna be six attacks. These are gonna be twos and twos. Uh, it's gonna be six at negative one. Gotta make them all. 
fours. Oh, so close. <laughs> Got him. Just one? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll fight with the knights. Three lances into the lead belchers, two lances into the, um, the gluttons, um, one of which is the champion, two horses, one horse. Sounds good. I had no more than that, so whatever you guys. Cool. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we'll fight into the gluttons first. So I have the champions, so that's an extra lance attack. Uh, these are going to be seven lances, threes and twos, because of my spells. Uh, four and one, please, into the gluttons. Uh, four six ups. Okay. Done. How many? Four damage total. Oh. And then the lone horsey, threes and threes. One hits. One wounds, no minuses. Uh, this is a five up. No. Nope. Okay. One damage. Okay, into the lead belchers. Uh, nine attacks, threes and twos. I really don't like lead belchers. Okay. Uh, four at round one. Four six ups. Okay. Three damage total. Two horses. Uh, threes and threes. Nice. Three at no rounds, please. This will be... Three, five ups. Yes, you take one. One damage. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start with my lead belchers. We'll just pile it around. Uh, these guys will have four attacks, and my boss is in. So these will be five attacks, threes and fours. One. Twos. Good. I will then pile in with my gluttons. This will be 25 attacks. Threes and fours. Fours. It's gonna be five, no rent. Okay. Twos. Uh, two get through. Four. Okay. Six up ward. Save two. Take two. Nice. My tyrant will pile in. He's got a few attacks. Not as good as you would hope. Uh, three attacks, these are gonna be threes and fours. Um, with the Thunder Mace, because I'm attacking a unit that has more than three models, a six to hit will do D3 mortal wounds in addition. Cool. Uh, one at negative two. Uh, is that with the reduction? It would be negative one with the reduction. Okay. So threes. Good. Um, he'll then have God, his d sphere glaive. This is gonna be threes and fours. One, negative one, so zero. Twos. I will go with my other parent. Same deal as last time. Three attacks, threes and fours. No sixes. Two, at negative two, so negative one. Threes. Uh, one gets through. Three damage. And then we're going to have two attacks, threes and fours. Nope. And then finally we'll go with less unit of buttons. They are outside of piling range, um, so they will not get to pile. Bites, uh, bites, bites, bites. Yes, thank you. I'm going to roll a four up on your knights. 
All right, so at the end of my turn, I'm going to control one, control two, control more. I got Battle Shock first here. Oh, yeah. Um, so I lost six somehow. Um, bravery eight with the banner, so let's keep it low. Oh, oh. So 12. So I lose four, which is all of them. Not according to plan there. Oof. That hurts. So, there's a successful turns and there's successful turns. Well, and yeah. I'll consider this a successful turn to the furthest extent. It uh, went perfectly. I was able to somehow kill the knights, somehow kill all of Erengard. Control one, control two, complete my battle tactic. You so, hold more. And hold more and complete my battle tactic. So I am going to take a smooth five there. And we will roll off. Four priority. Yeah, I don't know how I come back from this. Oh, I win the tie. Um, um, I'll take it. I, I'm in a very tough spot here. I think the only way that I salvage this is if I can send my Baron Guard across the board and Deal with do, this. do do this. Because then it leaves my Baron Guard versus Kragnos and those lead belchers and I feel like I've got a chance in, in that endeavor. Um, I don't I don't love it, um, but I don't hate it. So we'll we'll do that. Um, you, the player that are going second in the battle round, you can pick one objective and have it removed from play. I will take your home base objective. What? <laughs> Why would I do Why that? Why would you do that? Um, battle tactic, I'm gonna go eye for an eye. Yeah. Duh. Makes sense. Uh, and uh, heroic action will do draw on power with my non general caster. Sounds good. Uh, I am going to um, finest our my general. Casting time. Um, we'll start by giving the Varengard uh, oracular visions, so the six up ward. Um, we will go demonic speed. On a 13, You're all good. run and charge. Um, my super caster general will go demonic power. On an 11, the last cast will go mystic shield. On a 5. Yep. So, uh, same turbocharged knights that we saw the last time, just of the Baron Guard variety. So that'll put us to uh, time to move. Gonna spend a command point to redeploy my tyrant that has the flask on him. That's my non-general tyrant. Who goes six? I mean, really, the the plan is pretty straightforward here. Um, ultimately, what I have to go do is I have one, I have two. If I'd like to get more, I have to land over there. Uh, if I can get over there, I feel pretty good in getting eye for an eye. Um, I'm a Two up. No, I'm not ignoring Rend, but um, fighting twice. I I think I can if I have to grab grab what I need to get. So uh, charging time. Charging time. Time for a new beginning. It's three D six with my horsies. Ugh, eight. Uh, sure. Command point. Dice jail. Mm, Eleven. That's it for charges. Activation time. We're going to start with the Varing Guard.
So for attack allocation, we're going to go horses, horses, three horses, two horses, no horses, spear, spears, and sorcelled, and sorcelled. I am. I'm also going to pop his once again ability. Okay. So I am going to use Flask of Stonehorn Blood. It's once per battle at the start of a phase. You can say the bearer will drink the potion. If you do, the bearer has a three plus ward until the end of that phase. So Seem, seems good. Yeah. Uh, it's on my tyrant. That's not my general. Okay. So then you're going to. And then I'm all defensing my general. Okay. Okay. So the um, two ensorcelled weapons that are at the gluttons, the the unit of four right now. These are going to be twos and twos. Oof. Uh, five at rend one, please. He's going to be five, six ups. I'm going to make two damage. Six damage total. Uh, it's going to kill two glutton. Or a glutton. Uh, so a total of three mounts that are going that way. Um, this is going to be 12 attacks. Reason twos? Wow. Murder ponies. The three base plus one. Okay. All right, uh, so that's going to be six at rend one. This is going to be six six ups. Gonna make one. One each. Uh, it's going to kill two buttons. We will do the fell spear against your three up ward guy. Yep. Um, so this is going to be four attacks at twos and twos. Uh, two at Ren two. Um, he is going to be on a six up. Four damage total. And then four three ups. Uh, he'll take two damage. Okay. Right. Against your general. Uh, six and source of weapons, twos and twos. Yes. If only they were demon weapons right now. Uh, so six at Ren one. This is going to be six. I am all at defense, and uh, this is going to be Fine six three ups. Okay. Woo! All but one. Two and then damage. I have a five up mortal wound. Oh, he'll take two. Okay. Um, eight spear attacks. These are twos and twos. Seven hits. Those are going into the same. Yep, this is into your general. So. Uh, six at Ren two. This will be. Six, three um, ups again. Or four ups. Oh, yeah, run three. Sorry, run three. Math is hard. So this will be six, five ups. Woo. <sighs> Two apiece. Uh, is it three damage apiece? Two apiece. Uh, four, five ups. I'll make two. He'll be at four. Man. All right. Uh, two horses into him. So that's going to be also eight attacks. Threes and twos. All right, five at rend one. This will be five three ups. Miss three damage. Uh, one each. He's at six. Okay. Um, after I have fought for the first time, I will declare that I will fight again later in this uh, phase. I know no one saw that one coming. Um, my tyrant that is in the back is going to pile in three. He is going to have three attacks because you have more than uh, three models in that unit. Sixes will do d3 in addition. One six, and these will be threes to wound. Two wounds at negative two. Uh, so I'm plus one from Mystic Shield, so uh, fours. Good. And then your D3 mortals. Three. Fours. One. No, uh, you're going down. His other weapon. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, he's going to have his Beast Gear Glaive threes and threes. One. At negative one. Threes. Damage. D3. For one. Six up. One. 
Uh, so we get to pile in and fight again. So let's see what geometrical nonsense I can sort out. We're gonna go with the sorcerer's weapon and pony into these guys. Yep. Um, we're gonna go and sorcerer's weapon and pony into this guy. And sorcerer's weapon and pony, spear and pony, and then pony, two spears and a pony. Mm. Sounds good. Very complicated. <laughs> uh, so we'll start with your three up uh, tyrant. Yep. So this is two spears and a pony. So two spears is eight attacks. These are twos and twos. Seven hits. Uh, six at Ren three. Into my dad ass dude. Into the three up. Uh, the three up warded. Yeah, they're all going through damage. Uh, twelve damage. I need to make more than half of these for him. He'll take five. Okay. And then one pony. Threes and twos. Uh, two at rend one, please. Uh, Same two guy. five ups. Nope. One each. Two three ups. Oh, I think he'll die. Yep. All right, well, that gets my tactic. Um... So now we'll go into your Generalissimo, which is one spear and ensorcelled, and three ponies. One spear, three ponies, one ensorcelled. We'll start with the spear. Four attacks, twos and twos, three hits. Three at Ren three. This will be three five ups. Nope. Six damage. Uh, six five ups. He's dead. Okay. All right. So we'll swing with the uh, one ensorcelled one pony at the unit of one glutton. Sure. Six attacks, twos and twos. Nice. Uh, six at rend one, please. Six six ups. Two damage each. Okay. Uh, the one ensorcelled and one pony at the unit of six gluttons. Twos. Twos. Woo. Three at rend one, please. This is going to be three, five. Ah, oh, six ups. Damage. Uh, two each. Okay, and the ponies, four attacks, threes and twos. One at rend one. Ah, uh, six. No. Damage one. I'll pile in with my buttons. Uh, so I'm gonna have five, including my boss. So this is gonna be twenty-one attacks. I am gonna all-out attack here. Okay. These are gonna be twos and threes. Woo! I missed one. Spicy. <laughs> a lot more there. Alright, but still a lot. Yeah, Eight. Oh, I'm sorry. Six. Ten. Thirteen. Threes. Oof. Alright, feel six. Oh, that's only twelve damage. Yeah. <sighs> I think twelve. Um, that's going to be it. I do have a owe you a gulping bite on a four up. Uh, I'll do d3. Yep. For one. Four up. Take another. Kill some other guard. Yes. Die. Die. Now I have no effective means of killing crack notes. <laughs> um, uh, Battle Shock, you killed three. I'm Bravery Nine. I can't fail. Um, didn't think I was going to say that with some Baron Guard. Uh, I don't 
don't owe you any battle shot because you killed everything except uh, one model here and have plenty of bravery to yep. pass that. Okay, uh, hold one, hold two, don't hold more. Got my battle tactic, gives me four. So, summary of the turn, feel pretty bad. Um, the reality of what Justin's probably going to do next is, if I were him, certainly move on to this objective with the lead belchers, send Kragnos that way, and uh, I'd say clean it up. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do here. So, let's do it. So, I'm going to gaining momentum here. Uh, I'm going to pick the unit of Daring Guard. Yeah, I will get a command point this round because Kragnos is always a general. So, you got to appreciate his efforts. Um, and then for my heroic action, I am going... I have no heroes other than Kragnos that can use one. I will try for a four up from him. Uh, I'll do the same thing, but with my, uh, with my general. Nope. That's my hero phase in the movement. I'm moving my lead belchers on top to threaten the Corvus Cabal, and then I am hopefully going to make a longer charge with Kragnos into those Varengard and leave Brendan with very little at the end of this turn. Nothing. Um. <laughs> that is the goal. Um, so, uh, shooting my two lead belchers there did not move, so I'm going to get four D3 shots for a total of one, two, three, four, five. These are going to be fours and threes. Uh, just one. Yeah, negative one. Three up. Good. Uh, my other nice. set of lead belchers, this is going to be 43. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At fours and threes. Uh, that's going to be three at negative one into the quarter ball. All right. So into charges. A very important charge here with my lead belchers. Three d six. Oh for a nice God. twelver into the cabal. The cabal. This is going to be twelve four ups. Oh. Now everyone can see what they're supposed to do. <laughs> uh so this is a total of yeah, it's seven. Oh, there they go. Uh, I'm then going to charge with Kragnos. He's going to get two cracks at it. This could honestly change the game if I don't get in here. Yeah, well. Oh, that's a nine. He's not in. All right, the command point. Uh, he's in on an 11. Oh. Your impact. On the two up, he'll do d6. No, he will not. Uh, he did bring a better charge in for my lead belchers. He'll get three d6 here for a total of eight. This will be eight five offs. For uh, ogres, you need a unit of four to get to a five up uh, mortal wound to get to then the four up. Because this is only a unit of two, I'm going to get a total of eight, and these are going to be five offs. I'm going to do oh my God. four. I am going to roar with my monstrous action at the Baron Guard. The no. tension. Um, uh, I have no command points left. I'm going to make the controversial choice of attacking with my gluttons here first. Okay. I would fear that uh, Brendan could wipe my gluttons, but I think Kragnos can withstand an attack. All up defense o'clock. Yeah. So this is going to be a total of um, 21 attacks again. Threes and threes. That's yeah, pretty good. That seems real good. Wow. These dice are loaded tonight. Oof. It's one spicy meatball. All right. So it's eight... 12, 13, and negative 1. 
nine, so thirteen. All right, twos. Because I all have defense, and I got my missing shield going. Fail two. Ah, uh, four damage. Okay. Word save time. All right. It's a three. Okay. Uh, my activation. I'm going to go. We're gonna chuck one Varen guard and his pony. No, just the Varen guard into the two lead belchers. And the one Varen Guard and the two ponies into the Gluttons. Sounds good. Okay, uh, so into the Lead Belchers, five attacks at twos and twos. Four hits. Four at rend one on the Lead Belchers, please. This is going to be four six ups. None. Damage. Okay, uh, eight damage. Oh, uh, it's two dead Lead Belchers. Cool. The ensorcelled weapon at the gluttons. Twos and twos. Uh, two at rend one. Uh, this will be two six ups. I'll make one this one. Two damage. Kill the gluttons and pass one over. Six ponies, threes and twos. Okay. Uh, five at rend one on the gluttons. This is going to be. Five six ups. Make not five damage. Ten damage. Oh yeah, five. Yeah, five damage to the ponies. They're not the other weapons. Yes, five. Eleven d six. Uh, Kratos is gonna pile on. What? I'm not gonna forget that one. Uh, he'll be attacking raw here. Get your bonuses out of here. This is gonna be six attacks, threes and twos. Uh, three at negative three. All right, uh, so fours. All right. Eight damage. Ooh. I take five. Does that kill the Varen guard? You can do it, buddy. Hang in there. Uh, Deny him this battle and tactic. <laughs> These are going to be three attacks, threes and twos. Ooh. Uh, two, or I'm sorry, three at negative two. Three ups. Oh. Uh, two. Three damage each. Four. Four. Three. Exactly where we were the last time the Baron Guard and Congrats on Squad. Who's a rack in ruin? It's going to be six attacks, threes, and twos. Okay. Uh, three at negative one. Two ups. Oh, yes. yes. But there's still bites. You can still get me. I'm not happy about it. Oh yes. All right. So at the end, I do owe him a bite. No. <sighs> All right. Oh, um, I lost two, two gentlemen here. I'm I'm eating, so that brings me to eight plus this to nine. I'm fine. I'm bravery nine because I have Aaron Guard. I lost two. I can't roll an eight. So I failed my battle tactic, but I do control one, control two, control more. Yes, you do. So, uh, do we roll it? I'm sure, yeah, we'll play it. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't, I love this I don't, I don't see a way out of it, but... Um, good lord. Um, I'll, I'll take it. We'll see if we can scrounge some points off sure. of you. For sure. So what objective would you like to burn? I will burn the back objective there, sir. The one I'm standing on? Yeah. You monster. So I've got a plan. It's a bad one. Uh, All plans at this point would be, I would think. I'm going to desecrate your lands this. Makes sense. Um, heroic action. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll finest hour this one. Makes sense. Your action. I am going to uh, try for a command point from. I'm going to fight with Greg Nelson, the hero, please. That's not how that works. <laughs> I did not get it. Okay. Um, hero phase. Six up ward. Six up ward. We will do demonic power on that cast sorcerer lord. Whoa, fails it. Bummer. Um, these are 
tough times. Tough times in Magic Land. Um, this cast Sorcerer Lord will cast uh, Mystic Shield. I do with 12, and then we will cast Arcane Bolt. Do with an 8. So then we're going to move. Oh, so let's talk about my movement. Uh, get them into rally range, and maybe I get some guys back. Um, Imagine you hit four six. How oh, epic that would be! You're like, all right, now it's a game. <laughs> Char Kragnos charges him and just kills him. You're like, <laughs> cool. All right, um, shooting none charges. Cast sorcerer lord. That's not twelve inches away. Oh, cool. He's in like Flynn. I'm gonna unleash hell. But why? <laughs> Uh, it's going to be 4 d3 for a total of 2, 5, 7. I'm so sad if this kills me. This is, but it's, it's not good. It's 7, 5, and 3. Uh, it's just 1. 5s. Uh, my 12 inches away cast Sorcerer Lord. <laughs> oh, so close. Um, spend the command point. Fine. We'll spend the command point. You don't win by playing safe. <sighs> so close. Just just barely. Alright, activations. Do you want to unleash the. Oh, uh, I could. Uh, I, can, oh, I, can I can wait. Sure. I got time. <laughs> uh, so the sorcerer staff is uh, fours and twos with finest hour. Hits. Wounds at rend one. Six up. Nope. Oh, D3 damage. Two. Yep. And the chaos rune blade, two attacks, threes and twos. Nice. Not bad. Two, no rend. Two finals. Nope. Oh. Uh, one damage each. Nope. All right, fight back. All right, so this is going to be uh, ten attacks. No, I'm sorry, seven attacks, threes and threes. Oh, you, you're not minus one, right? No, that's my second one. Uh, just one. No rend. One. No rend. Nope. No rend. All right, threes. Ha! <laughs> Tough guy. Oh yeah, gulping bites. Uh, here you go. Four. Yes, D three. Four one. Cool. So I got my battle tactic for desecrate, um, which is good. So that gives me two points. I don't hold anything yet. You know, you are putting me in pickles to get battle tactics out of these. Yeah. You know, battle tactics, I am going to choose for all my ogres to be eating at the end of this turn. Uh, I am going to try for a command point from Craigie. I am going to get it. And then yours, Brendan. I'm in a heroic action fight in the hero phase. Ooh, it's all spicy. Sorcerer Staff, one attack, fours and threes. Hits. Wounds at rend one. Jesus. Six. Damage. One. And then the rune blade. Threes. Threes. Nothing. Ah. Um, I'm then going to attempt to rally back a uh, unit of my gluttons. I'll oh my goodness. <laughs> I will also attempt to rally back, but my Varen guard. One. That's good. Can't complain. Yeah, we'll we'll take a spear guy. That's what we'll do. We'll take a spear guy. Um, in movement. Alright. Um in the shoot scene, this is gonna be six 
D3. Uh, 3, 6, and uh, 10. This is going to be 10 at 4s and 3s. Uh, it's 5 at negative 1. 5s. Damage one, all right. Yep. Sixes. Whoop. And then that will kill. Oh, that screws my battle factor. Yep. Oh, you, did. you can Perfect. fight me. You can fight me IRL. God damn it. What is my charge there? A ten. And they're holding within twelve. No, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I'm charging with my gluttons. They could be if you charge Kragnos over here. Oh, that's Ooh. super smart. Uh, gluttons first. They're going to get in on a 13. Yeah, giving yourself options. All right, do your impact hits. Uh, this is going to be 13 orps. Uh, that's going to be 1, 2, 8. Four is. <laughs> Take two. Wow. Which kills a Varen Guard. That's important. Had to get out of the Varen Guard. Didn't want to go wrong. Craigie is going to attempt his charge. He'll get in by a lot. So, if you want to complete your battle tactic. <laughs> On the two up, he'll do D6. Yes. One. Craigie is gonna attack first. Whoa, oh, oh, it. Let's let's see it. You just need a ten. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is easy. I'm charging my lead belchers into that lonely, lonely General. chaos or sirloin. No. How many points do I have left? Two. Do it. What else? What are you seeing to do with it? Yeah, we're gonna do it. No, darn it. All right, Craigie is going to try to roar. How many? You have one. I have one. Yeah. Uh, he's going to try to roar. He's going to get it. Oh, bummer. He's he's gonna, he's already failed your tactics, so just punch him into the yeah. ground. Uh, he's going to spend for all of the attack here. It's going to be six attacks. Just punch him to the moon. Threes and two, or twos and twos. Uh, five at negative three. All right, sixes. Oh, I died. We call it? I, I think it's fair to call it. Good day. Good day. Oof. Ouch. Craigie boy. Show it up in a big way. Um, I felt really bad at the bottom of turn one. Um, Craig knows being able to kill that unit of six Baron Guard from six to zero was massive for me being able to continue on with this game. And, and the knights in the same turn. That yeah, was... and the passive damage I was doing out of like charges and stuff into the knights uh, whittled them down enough that battle shock then really hurt Brendan bad. Oof. Yeah, that was... <sighs> that was something. You went, you went from ten knights to zero to knights. Zero knights yeah. Overall, I'm super happy with the list. Uh... You know, it, even with Brendan's amazing saves, you just miss a couple of saves against some gluttons, and that's all. Appeal. It's all ogre. Yeah, it's all ogre. It's a great expression. And uh, Craig knows it was extremely great uh, all game. Is there anything you would do differently if you played with again, Brendan? Um, I'd be very interested in um in seeing what the game looked like giving you top. Yeah. Um, because getting getting out from behind your Noblar screen might have been pretty tough in a couple of spots. Um, yeah, my plan was just to scoot the Noblars forward and then maybe do like cunning maneuver and deliver like uh, uh, one of my tyrants onto that objective, mm -hmm. hopefully. But I didn't have a good plan as far as how to get out. And I I know when I can see some bait, <laughs> so I knew that that was tempting, but. Awfully uh, sugary at the end of the day. So, uh, I don't know. I think it maybe goes different. I think your turn one went well. 
I I agree. I think I think the top of one went about as realistically well as I could have as I could have hoped. Um, you know, hoping for a slightly longer charge maybe with the um, with the knights to try and get past the yeah you know, the screen to, to to just be able to do more damage. Um, that would have been you know great. Yeah, but, you had to waste a lot of knights not on the attack mm-hmm. with your pile, which made sense. But not tagging not tagging the units was more important than than you know than not making it right. That was yeah. the that was the mo. Uh, Eleven got me there, right? Ten and a half is your average. If I re-roll it, there's a 50-50 chance I land below that line slightly, and you know same odds that I'm I'm going to end up in in the same place above that line. Yeah. Um. So I wasn't wasn't really willing to risk the dice roll there. I felt um, fortunate to have some tanky tyrants. I feel like if these tyrants can't slow you down like they did on that turn, you would probably have just wiped everything. In there wouldn't have been much, turn. yeah. Yeah, but having that three up save or mortal wound save and just having yeah the finest hour, finest all up defense. Gave yeah. me just enough to hold you back so that I could have a productive next. And turn. not being able to finish that one unit. Uh, so I could turn my turn at least two Varengard to the other unit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was a big deal as well in terms of because then it then it becomes a um, hold more as well. You don't have a ton of things to, to swing back into me. It, it becomes a just Kragnos equation, which I mean he did most of the damage anyway. So, um, but the other thing I want to point out is. So you look at this game. It's over at the end of turn three. A couple of things go differently. Brendan is able to take this game at where it looks super bad for him in the top of two, comes back, wipes off my unit, and then all of a sudden the game is maybe in his favor rather than um, you know in mine. So it really shows that even when things look grim in this game, you have plays to get you out. So... You know, I think that's always important to watch for. Never surrender. Yeah. But oh boy, was it looking real bad after one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting to be down. Uh, you know, the thousand points plus ish of you know, knights and varian guard in 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 the effectively same combat. Uh, what really hurt you too was just running out of command points. Yeah. Like not having being able to all I mean you had to because you had to do things during your turn. But the all defense here would have been huge. And then obviously battle shock would have been massive. But I mean, that's kind of how it goes. It's what it is. Yeah. The um pointed out I should probably take levitate on the on the general. Um that uh that could have launched the knights over the Noblar screen, and and that gets us what we need. But you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Yep. You yeah. know, that's that's what it is. The I really like the loadout for the general. Um, you know, that was that was pretty good. Um, yeah, man, Baron Guard are dumb. I. <laughs> they knights, are uh, knights are dumb. They are powerful. Uh, if it's not for the you know having one like this list, if I don't. Like some people I've seen run it without a screen, I feel like you're just asking for absolute game over. Cause there is so much, be it Slaves of Darkness, Iron Jaws, you know, and probably not thinking of ten things that can now get into your F squigs, get right. into your face, turn one, and just wipe you off if you don't have a screen. So it's tempting as it is sometimes to take that 120 points and do something else with it. Like you just can't afford it, even if you're one drop. Yeah, I was really excited. I was really excited to see that that's the list that you were playing was this uh, was this meat fist one because that's been the recent iteration of the ogre book that's been doing very well, um, and it was nice to see it in in practice. Right, you know, people have been running some other iterations of it. Um, I mean, I've seen some even without Kragnos, and to me, like you fit more meat in there. But boy, that feels kind of silly sometimes when you can. Whoop, yeah, I mean, and we saw my three D six charging monster trucks at at uh, at Fall Rubicon, and that was that was pretty nice. It feels so cool rolling like a bucket, nine dice, a bucket and of dice, be on like three and four ups from one of ones. It's just threes and fours, and they're from just the little dudes too, which is yeah. which is the cool part. The because that was the real downside in the old book, right? Was um, you know you you could not 
make use of the the impact hits from anything that wasn't a monster. Yep. The you had to have a unit of ten to to make that work, and that meant you had to double reinforce a unit of gluttons, and that was it. And what a waste of time that was. Yeah, and gluttons being no rend in the last book, one inch reach. <laughs> They were uh, Man, not they, something. You, the game has changed a lot, but they were never good. So that the, even if the game changing, rend one is now no rend, and uh, if you have no rend, you better have uh, the proverbial uh, one bucket, bucket ton full of dice. of dice to do any damage nowadays. So one metric bucket ton. Anyways. I appreciate everyone sticking around. If you're still here, we appreciate it. Always like and subscribe if you uh, care to, you know, help out the channel. We do have a Patreon that we would use to uh, improve some of the things you see, uh, some of the graphics. Maybe you'd even see less of our faces if we had a little extra money, and maybe some of, motivate some of you to uh, spend some money on Patreon. But that's obviously over and above. So, anyways, thanks for sticking with us. Thanks, Brendan, for playing with us. Of course. Thanks, Nick, for the editing, and we'll see you next time.